Alright, so now we're in the M7060 here. Right now we have to note the loader has two different positions for the cylinders. One's going to be a heavy load lifting position. The other one's going to be a full height lifting position. Right now we have it set on the full height lifting position. So we definitely need to note that. We are starting out with what we left off on the MX6000 with the cab. So right now we're at 2,774 pounds. We're going to give this a shot and see how high we're going to get it here. Three feet ten inches, almost three feet eleven. Uh, that's a twenty-seven seventy-four. So we'll see what we do here, and uh, we might go up. See what it's got. All right, so we added a couple more weights on there. Uh, now we're at three thousand twelve pounds. Um, we're gonna give this chassis a high. It's gonna get it here. inches with 3,012 pounds so not too bad probably gonna add another weight or two here and see what it's gonna take to really bottom this one out in this lifting position all right so we added a couple more weights on here now uh, we got 3,247.2 pounds so 3247.2 we'll see if this one's gonna get her off the ground at all So that pretty much stopped it there. Six inches and you're half an inch or an inch off the ground. So you got it just off the ground and move it at 32 basically. Uh, 32.47.2. So now I think we're going to try to switch the cylinders around here and uh, see what it will look. So we've now switched our loader positions here. Um, we are on the heavy lift cylinder setting, so we'll see if this will even get this off the ground here. So yeah, that definitely changed some things. I will tell you I'm a little bit light in the back. Alright, so we changed the cylinders on this loader now to the heavy lift position. Um, went ahead and added some more weight to our weight box there just for safety purposes. Right now we got uh, 3,247 pounds on here. Yeah, 3,247 pounds. We're going to see how high this is going to get this at this new position here.
seven inches. It's almost three feet seven inches. So it's three feet six inch, three feet six and a quarter inch. So that's pretty good considering how the last uh, positioning won't even get it off the ground. So it's pretty good. All right, so we have a couple more weights on here. We're at 34 inches. We're gonna give this a shake here and see what it'll do. Two feet two inches, it got it off the ground that time. So two feet two inches and 34.82. We're gonna add a couple more weights here to see, see what kind of it'll bottom it out or not. We ain't got too many more weights left, so. All right, so we added two more weights on here now. Now we're at 3,720 pounds. Uh, let's give this a run and see how high it's going to get it. Pretty much max. Five and a quarter, you're about half an inch off the ground. So, yeah, five and a quarter inches off the ground, and ten and a half inch for the pallet. So, that's pretty much it. 3720 is going to be max for this year's tractor.